It's coming on to late July. We've had very little rain this summer and we've had a massive heat wave. Uh, the hottest ever recorded day in the UK on Monday. It's uh, come on to Thursday. The weather's a bit cooler, there's a bit of cloud and I've decided to go down on the Stour at Throop and see if I can find a few roach. I've got some hemp and tares. Haven't really put a lot of time into uh, preparing my bait. I've just taken what I could find in my bait freezer and to be honest with you the tares are pretty poor. Um, they've been thawed and frozen a bit too many times so quite a few of them just fall to bits. But there's a few that are usable and the hemp's probably uh, a little bit niffy. I've taken two rods with me. I've got a uh, Normark Titan 2000 and my Tricast John Allerton stick float rod and uh, what I've done is tackled up both rods the uh, stick float rod with a small stick float 4 number 4 and on the uh, Titan a very small waggler float just with uh, a treble A and a number one shot locking and a number eight down the line and both rods have got uh, size 16 Drennan barbless silver fish hooks on. Very straightforward fishing. The first thing is to find some fish in these drought conditions. The river's extremely weedy. The weed was cut a couple of weeks ago but it's shot back up and it's holding up the uh, water at the moment but there's very little flow that the actual levels the recorded levels are recorded as low and the way things are going unless we start to get a lot of rain and there may be some rain in the next few days I don't know we could be in trouble when that weed starts to die off in a month's time I think the river's going to show its bones, the, the, the gravel's going to start showing as the weed just naturally dies, it peaks and uh, it's going to be very very low indeed unless we get like I say lots and lots of rain and uh, I wouldn't like to predict that at the moment. This is a view of the uh, first swim that I fished. You can see that there's lots of weed floating on top, there's duckweed starting to come down various weed beds here and there. Some of the duckweeds being eaten by little chub and dace and little roach. But when I've been on the river the last uh, three or four times down on Throop at the start of the season, first couple of weeks of the season, I've really struggled for anything of any size. I've had uh, had little roach up to maybe a, a couple of ounces mostly about an ounce and very small dace as well and that that's not really very good uh, the odd little chub today walking on down to this first swim I've seen uh, one or two good chub seen a few roach with one or two better ones at least half a pound and bigger and uh, a few small dace and small chub and uh, one or two bream as well I'm not expecting to catch the chub or the bream I've started in this swim which is a slack, a sort of big pool, fishing close in with a stick float and it's not long before I get a couple of reasonable roach, not monsters. A bit more encouraging than the uh, absolute tiny ones I've been getting on tears lately, but this one's barely four ounces. I'm missing a few bites in between. This one's ever so slightly bigger than that first one. Just about worth a landing net.
it's comfortable fishing sitting on the river bank sat on uh, an unhooking mat I'm missing lots of bites there's lots of little dace even the bleak are pecking at it little tiny chub When you fish a swim like this, you hope it will uh, get better as time goes on, but this one seemed to be the opposite. One or two roach early on, and then lots of these little bites. And uh, I don't think there was a big head of roach down there really. Come up to look at a swim a bit further up and you can see lots of roach there. It's a good sized chub, good bream, just knocked out of the way by the chub. But there's hardly any water above the weed. It's quite a nice roach there. And to fish this one, I'm going to switch to that tiny little waggler. One or two dace with the roach. So fishing this little uh, waggler, it's less than three inches long. And hoping the fish will uh, play ball and it's not very long I've hooked one of those better roach and by keeping its head up I'm able to pull it straight across the top of the weed caught a bit of a uh, silk weed on the way in but not too bad Not a monster. Just about a pound. Nice summer roach fairly good condition catching that fish has disturbed the rest of the shoal it's uh, a lot fewer roach out there now there's a few swimming around the chub has disappeared but certainly not as many as I saw when I started. They, they quickly backed off into the weed. Whether I should have fed it for 20 minutes and then fished, I don't know, and got them going properly, but uh, I don't know. A little dace came off then. Decided to try and fish further across standing up now, which is probably not ideal. 
another roach but nothing like as big got to get them out of that weed but uh, much more of an average fish I've ended up in another very shallow swim there's uh, a few fish swimming around one or two reasonable roach I've had one or two good ones out of this one over the years but, uh, today just fi finishing up with that uh, one or two sort of average fish, one or two more dace, and little chub and things. It's been a fun couple of hours, it's quite hot and sticky. Ended up with uh, getting on for a dozen roach. A few dace, a few little chublets, one or two bleak. Until next time, it's goodbye for now.